All right, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to do a quick tutorial uh, on the speech recognizer. You can see that I've added the speech recognizer component that's available under other stuff, uh, as well as a simple uh, button. I've even set the button to press and speech, and I've set the height to 40 pixels to make it easy to jab at. And uh, I have a label here that I have to set about uh, 250 pixels high, 200 pixels wide. Uh, good enough that I can get some text in there if I talk a long time. The speech recognizer component allows us to speak to our phone and allows that speech to be recognized uh, by Google's um, network-based back-end uh, voice-to-text system. What that means is that when we speak into our phone when the speech recognizer component is invoked it actually sends our voice or some compressed artifact thereof to Google's speech recognition engine and then sends it back to our phone alright so let's look how we would use this I have added the components here of a label to display the speech uh, the text of what I speak and a button to activate uh, the process so let's switch over to blocks editor here. Alright, so I've got a button, a label, and the speech recognizer. Well, I know that when I press the button, I want uh, something to happen, so I'm going to get the button one click out. I'm going to say, when I click the button, um, go ahead and get text, and that's a method I have here. I have a method and two simple events. Uh, I also have a result here that I can call, but we're going to call this method and say hey when I click that button go ahead and get the text that's gonna fire the speech recognition portion of the Android operating system it's built into the Android operating system uh, this just calls it uh, when uh, I'm finished though I want uh, something to happen so I'm gonna pull up the speech recognizer and say uh, after getting text this is a simple event after I get the text what do I want to do well after I get the text I want to set label text. Now, two ways I can do this. You notice there is a, a result here. Um, I can pass the result using that variable, and that's going to be under my definitions. You see the variable called result here. Or I can uh, use the speech recognizer result right here. Those will both return the same thing. So, in other words, if I plug this in here like this, um, what's going to occur is I'm going to press the button that's the one button click and it's going to pop up with a microphone that asks me to speak when it detects that I've stopped speaking um, the speech recognizer is going to return to the label we have on our application this result now there's one more simple event uh, which is before getting text uh, I could use the before getting text for something uh, like uh, before I get that text, I want to go ahead and set that label text uh, to uh, something blank. So in other words, I'm going to clean that label before I actually get the text and then repopulate it. Um, I'd like to demonstrate this. Uh, I know it works. I'd like to get the de to demonstrate it, but I don't have the capability of recording uh, on my phone right now. And the emulator, I don't think actually will allow me to do speech recognition. But go ahead and throw this together real fast on your phone, package it up, throw it on your phone, uh, and watch it work. In essence, what we have is we have an event um, that happens after the speech recognition component gets some speech and turns it into text. And we have a result that we can either place here or somewhere else. Um, we have a method we can call to start that process. We have two simple events. All right, guys, throw this together out there on uh, your own. See how it works, and feel free to shoot me any questions. And have fun inventing apps.